Welcome to another video from iGadgets Techie and today I'm going to show you my top 3 must have city tweaks you should have on your device. All the tweaks I'm going to show you today are going to be very functional and you'll find it very useful for everyday use. Moving on to the first one we've got here is Spring to Mice. Now if there's one tweak I was asked to choose then it would have to be this one. It's Spring to Mice 3. Now this is the ultimate tweak you should have on your device. It offers unlimited options in order to customize and personalize your device. I would call it the Swiss Army of CD tweaks because everything's all built into this one application. Now let's just have a look at this application, Spring to Mice, going to settings. Um, as you can see, it's called Spring to Mice 3. Once we're in settings, we've got the option to disable or enable the application. So obviously we need to enable the application. So we can now have a look at all the other options available in this tweak. Now moving on to the first one, so this is animation, now there's actually an app, a separate app in the Cydia store where you can speed up the um, animations, um, this is a separate app on Cydia but this for example is actually built into this application um, on Spring to Mize. There's also a, an application where you can disable your badges called No Badges on the Cydia store but again once you've got this installed this will already be built in um, so it would be an option available to you um, as we have a look there's so many different applications our, or functionalities available for example app slider we can actually even customize the control center itself um, the dock there's several apps available in Cydia where you can um, tweak the actual dock but here it's built in you can choose how many applications you want in your dock uh, so again very very useful um, all built into this application uh, moving down we've got folders here again we can have nested folders which is a separate application we can even change the color of the background in, in this application itself icons here you can resize the icons um, you can have badges enabled or disabled lock screen we've got the option to actually even configure the lock screen to our to our heart's content there's pages several options available and finally we've got status bar again several options available it's just a case of playing with the application and customizing and personalizing your device um, how you want it so this is spring to mice 3 um, now this application is available from the sit here stop um, if you've previously purchased spring to mice 2 then this would be $199 as in $1.99 um, in the Cydia store. If you haven't previously purchased it, then this would be available at $2.99. So this is Spring to Mice 3 and it's optimized for iOS 7. The next one I'm going to show you is called Multitasking Gestures and this is available from Cydia for $1.50. Now this tweak has been optimized for iOS 7 but I believe it's still not compatible with iPads. Now, this tweak allows you to switch between applications and access the multitasking option through gestures. Let's just have a look to see what this looks like. Now, let's just go into the settings for this application and let's have a look at the different options available. So let's just have a look at multitasking gestures. There it is. And once we're in the application, we're presented with a couple of options here. We can choose to have the switch app gesture enabled or disabled. And also we can have, to, we can have um, the swipe up gesture enabled or disabled. So I've got both the uh, options enabled. Once you've selected the options, you just respring your device and once resprung we'll have a look to see what we can actually do in terms of the gestures so for example if we're swiping up we're now presented with the multitasking options where we can just obviously go to the relevant um, application so that's multitasking by swiping the application or we can then choose to slide across and just switch between the applications so this is multitasking gestures it's available from the Cydia store and this is available for a dollar and fifty cents. Um, also, if we just um, swipe down, we can see that the control center has now moved up in the notification panel. So obviously this helps us when we're um, 
selecting the multitasking gesture option. So this is multitasking gesture available from the CPU store for a dollar and fifty cents. Now the third one I'm going to show you is called guest mode. Again, it's compatible with iOS 7. With guest mode, it gives you the ability to share your device freely and still protect your privacy. This comes in really handy, for example, when you want your children to play games on your device and you don't then need to worry about them having access to other applications on your iPhone. Now, this is available from the Cydia store. It's available for 99, 99 cents. And let's just have a look at the um, options available here. So let's have a look at the settings and the options available in guest mode. Let's just go into guest mode. Once we're in guest mode, obviously, we've got the option to enable or disable the feature. So obviously, we want this to be enabled. Now, going down, there's quite a few options available um, under entering guest mode. We can have, we can choose to have the guest button on the left hand side of the passcode screen or on the right hand side of the passcode screen now on my device i don't actually have a passcode here so all i've done is i've selected the option where it says swipe left and i'll just show you how this will work in fact before doing that i'm just gonna select the applications i want to enable in guest mode so i've got agent dash selected and then if i scroll down i'm gonna select Flappy Bird because these are the two games which I've got installed on my device. So once selected, let's just lock the screen and just show you how this would work. So screen's locked and because I've got mine set up to swipe left um, to enter guest mode, this is what I will be presented with. So as you can see, the applications are all there, but they're all ghosted out. So if you tap on it, nothing happens. You can't access these applications. The only two applications you will be able to access are going to be Agent Dash and the other application which I've got enabled, which is Flappy Bird. Now, if you did have a passcode enabled, it would now present you with the passcode screen where you can enter your passcode. At the same time, though, um, it will also, also give you an option to enter guest mode. So this is how you'll be able to enter guest mode on your device. So this is guest mode available from the Cydia store. As I've said, this is available for 99 cents. So that's all for today. Please stay tuned for all your tech related needs. Please do subscribe to the channel and I would really appreciate your support on helping my channel to grow. Thanks very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.